Hello everyone, I am Pepe and in this video series I am going to talk about Nix. Nix is a bunch of different things. So first of all, uh, the first thing that we notice about Nix is that it is a package manager. Um, it can work as a package manager such as uh, APG, for example, uh, and we'll see how can we do it, but not, that's not its major strength. So uh, the thing that characterizes Nix is that it is a purely functional package manager, right? Um, it is purely functional because uh, what we do in Nix is that we create something called derivations, right? And these derivations have inputs and outputs, but they do not mess with your with your with your computer per se, right? So uh, what happens is that the Nix language takes these derivations and then installs the software, right? Uh, these derivations have inputs. Other packages, so for example, you can depend on GNU utils, uh, and they produce new packages that other packages can depend on. So uh, it's a very inter interesting concept. Um, there are other other package managers such as such uh, as this one, so for example, Gix. I think it's called Gix, um, which is based on Nix as well. But uh, I think that uh, Nix spearheaded this this idea. Um, Nix, it's also, or Nixos, it's also an operating system, right? This operating system, uh, you can see it in nixos.org. Um, this operating system uh, builds upon the Nix package manager and allows you to configure your machine in a declarative way, right? So you write your description of your machine, you write down in a single file all your users or the, all the services that you want uh, running, um, everything. And the package manager takes care of that and builds your computer, right? Uh, so it's very cool as well. Um, and finally, Nix is a language as well. So all everything that you do for declaring your Nix for your Nix derivations or your Nix configuration, you do it in Nix language, right? So the first thing that we'll need to do uh, to start interacting with Nix is installing it. So if we go to nixos.org. This one right here. Um, you'll see uh, all the description about what Nixos is, and you can download Nix from the download tab and copying this command right here, right? So if you take this command and paste it on a terminal, right, it will install Nix for you. Uh, I myself already have it installed, so I don't need to do it. But in the end, you'll have um, several binaries installed, right? So uh, one of the things of Nix is that it's not one single binary, so there are several of them. Um, for example, if we want to use Nix as a normal package manager, such as APT, we can do that uh, with Nix env. So Nix env, uh, I haven't specified, uh, specified an operation, so it complains about that. But Nix env uh, allows me to modify the global environment of my the global environment of my of my computer, right? In this case, I have installed Nix on Mac, but Nix can also be installed on on Linux. Nix, uh, and Nix can also be installed on Windows subsystem for Linux, so it's uh, fairly portable. So um, with Nix env, what you'll do is you'll uh, install packages as you do with APT. So for example. Uh, the hello package. Oh, I already have it installed. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, Cloud save package. Okay, so I don't have it installed. Let's see if it exists on Nix. Uh, what you can do is uh, search it on the Nix uh, on the Nix packages channel. So Nix m dash uap and let's search for cloud save. Cloud save, I'd say. This may take a while. And what this will do is that it will search for packages uh, that contain that string. Let's wait a second. OK, so here it says that there is Kause version 3.04 on, on Nix packages, which is the main channel. We'll talk about channels later on. Um, but there is a version for for Kausen that for Kausen that we can install. So we can install it with nix m dash i Kausen or dash i or dash dash install Kausen, right? So 
something very interesting about, about Nix is that it doesn't, um, it's not destructive, right? And all your operations are atomic. Uh, the way Nix achieves that is that it will install everything to, to, to its own uh, environment. And what it will do is it will just change some symlinks at the end, right? So it will install everything, and once everything is installed, it will create some links for you to for you to access these packages. So uh, you can see that it already installed, and now I can say, I'll say, and then what? Hello from Nix. Now like this. Here we have our call. That's so cool. Um, and we could even uninstall this package as well with Nix and uninstall cause and it's not there anymore right uh, the reason the reason it was instant the uninstalling is that it has it hasn't actually deleted this package from from our computer it just deleted the the same links so the package is still there we can even install it and it will be really fast but um it just deleted the same links so we've seen how we can uh, install packages using using Nix, um, a la uh, APG, right? Uh, but there are other ways for using packages without installing them, right? And that's actually when you want just to execute something once and you don't really want to pollute your, your binary environment for your computer, you can do it with Nix shell, right? Nix shell is one of the other binary tools that are uh, bundled yeah, when you install uh, Nix with the uh, with the string that we copied from nixos.org. And Nix shell, uh, Nix shell, sorry, is um, it's a very interesting thing, right? So what we do is that we can ask Nix to create uh, shells inside our inside our inside our terminal that contain the packages that we want. So for example, now. I don't have Kausa anymore because we just uninstalled it, but we can ask Nix to create a shell that contains the Kausa package. So let's try that out. So let's use using Nix shell. Let's ask us to add the package uh, Kausa. And whenever we drop into, into that shell, we want to execute the command uh, Kausa hello. From Nix, I don't know if I will need to escape some codes there. Yeah, let's try it out. There you go. Um, here, once again, I don't have Kause installed globally. I just asked Nix to create a shell with the Kause package, and whenever it enters the shell, um, it executes that command. I can even execute that again without executing any command on startup for the shell so i'll drop inside a new shell and uh, i can say now i'll say hello world right so um that's uh that's the first introduction to nix that i wanted to show you in further videos we'll understand uh, what are the big strengths of nix right so we'll uh, see how can we create new shells, how can we um, declare our packages in different languages, in Python, Rust, Haskell, whatever we want. We'll see how can we use Nix as a package manager for these packages, and we'll see how even we can handle all the binaries for our computer, all the home applications that we want. We can, how can we handle that with Home Manager? So thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for future videos. Bye-bye.